Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad and, and Boozy. Boozy. I'm Shelby. And I'm Jante. And welcome back to our show. We're so excited to have you here. We know we took a week off, but we are ready and we are back. And we just want to share with you what we're going to be drinking today. So let's just go ahead and get started. Amazing. Yeah. So we all know that the world has changed substantially since the last time we've been here. So we decided that we wanted to round out the end of our series um, with whiskey and what better way to do it than with this particular brand called Uncle Miris. Now, as you guys know, we've been through every other uh, alcohol so far. So the end of the series, we're ending with whiskey because uh, the next holiday is Father's Day. And um, one of the more popular drinks to have on Father's Day is an old fashioned. We decided to kind of scour the internet and find some of the best black owned companies out there. And we found Uncle Miris. They were founded back in 1884, based out of Tennessee. And one of the best things about them is that their CEO, Fawn Weaver is actually the only black CEO to run a major uh, spirit brand. All right, well, as always, let's go ahead and start with the shot. We know that we're supposed to be sipping on whiskey technically to get a good review, but fuck that. We're taking a shot. Everybody wants to see the shot face, so let's just let's just go for it. Woo! Pop, lock, and drop it. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely feel that it. That shit burns. It burnt my throat, not gonna lie. I'm gonna throw. They say they told us that if it burnt, you know it's good whiskey if it burns your throat, or it's not good whiskey if it burns your throat. It is if it burns your the innards. I think that's what they say. You're supposed to feel a nice warm it burns sensation it right down in here. But actually, aftertaste now tastes good. Tastes good. I'm actually feeling it. That'll warm you up. It's warm. It I feel warm in here. <laughs> I feel cozied up. I feel like a hug from my grandma was just given. Delish. I like it. I didn't. It's how to Uncle Nernest. Yeah, honestly. Nearest? Nernest? Nearest. I'm just going to call him Uncle Nerny. <laughs> Uncle Nerny. <laughs> Uncle Nern. <laughs> well, um, now let's just go ahead and get started. Again, we're making a classic old fashioned, so let's just go ahead and take it away. Mm. All right, you guys, so start off by dropping one sugar cube into your glass and then a fourth of your bitters. Then we're going to take two amaretto cherries and drop those in as well. And then we like ours to be a little strong, so we're going to do two parts of the Uncle Nearest. And then we're going to stir that up with the ice inside. Once you feel that the glass itself has become a little cool, you'll know that your drink is ready to be transferred over to a glass. So stir, 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 and then take a glass, pour that over the top with some more ice. And then we're going to take an orange zest, splice that around, and there you have it, an old fashioned. All right, let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers to Uncle Nerny. It's good. It's a really good old fashioned. It is. I'm not a big old fashioned gal, but I would drink this on some fancy night out or, you know, my dad loves old fashioned, so shout out because it is Father's Day kind of upset. Yeah. So I would definitely sit down and drink this with my dad. This is really good. Like you can taste all the different flavors, all the different bitters are coming through. And then the, the actual whiskey itself is super, super just like complimenting to it. Maybe it doesn't so. hurt your throat or anything. I'm really into it. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10, which is a pretty high score oh. if you know me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and give dear old Uncle Nearest and this delicious old fashioned a 7.5. Um, I say that because I'm not really big into old fashions. However, this is really good whiskey and Jonte did make it more sweet for me. So cheers to that. Mm. Yeah. And some fun facts about this particular brand of whiskey. Um, so we all know that whiskey is something that's super entangled in American history. And a really fun fact about that is back in 1884, Uncle Nearest was actually the first and probably the only African-American master distiller. And fun facts about dear old Uncle Nearest, he befriended none but the only Jack Daniels. Mm. And it's actually rumored that he taught Jack Daniels how to distill whiskey. So thankful to Uncle Nearest for bringing us one of the most iconic whiskey brands in America. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming back and watching us. I know there was quite a break between what we were doing last week, but we're happy to have you back. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we make a new video and subscribe to the channel. And then if you're not following us on Instagram, you're really missing out. So uh, check us out at our handle below. Cheers, you guys. Stay bad and boozy, everybody. <laughs>
like when this came out, like I was so much ready. You know what, Monique? Monique, you with me now. You about to lose your job. Uh, you about to lose your job. Hey, you about to lose your job. You just danced to entertain me for nothing.